Welcome back to Quilting Mathematics, and this happens to be segment number 20 in a series of 22. Uh, this quilt right here is called Greco-Latin Squares, and it has a very fascinating history and also interesting applications. Most of you that know of Sudoku um, have been working with Greco-Latin Squares. Well, this is a more general set, so the Sudoku is a subset of a more general kind of set of uh, squares called Greco-Latin squares. We have similar features here. Now this hand quilt happens to be a 10 by 10, 10 units across and 10 units up. It has unique rows and unique columns, so there's no repeat at all in any row or any column of the background fabric, plus it has no repeat of any of the inside squares here that are nested inside. So no repeats this way, no repeats this way for both the background and the inside square. That means there are a hundred unique cells in this particular array. I happened to find actually this pattern on the internet and investigated to make sure that there were no repeats at all. Uh, the interesting thing about this quilt is when I was showing it up in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, one of the professors came up to tell me about applications that are used for Greco-Latin squares. And in his particular field, they were doing some analysis with fertilizers. So the fertilizers were the different kinds of fertilizers were put in the 10 columns, and then the 10 different strengths were looked at. So by, thereby getting 100 unique cells for um, the analysis to see which fertilizer was uh, the most appropriate. There's a really interesting history that goes back uh, with the Greco-Latin squares, and it begins in uh, 1780 with Leonhard Euler demonstrating methods for constructing these Greco-Latin squares, where n is odd or a multiple of four. In 1901, Gaston Terry demonstrated that there were no six by six squares enumerating all the possible arrangements of symbols. In 1959, Parker Bowes and Shrik Hande constructed a 10 by 10 square. So, uh, this may not be theirs, but this is a 10 by 10. In 1978, the French writer Georges Perret used a 10 by 10 square, believed then to be the only one possible, for the structure of constraints underlying one of his novels. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of this Greco Latin Square quilt, and stay tuned for the rest of the quilts that are in this series. Have a great day!